a seat. I'm sorry, that spot is reserved for America. <laughs> oh, sure, of course it is. I, Evelyn Crane, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this to be my last will and testament. Those of you sitting in this room have all been invited for a reason, whether you are a blood relation, one of my stepchildren, or a fan of my work at Silver Kirk Studios, I stated specifically that you should be here today. While I did not expect this to be necessary, I have prepared for the possibility of an early demise and have left you with the tools necessary to continue my work. Article 1. Um, I direct that the packages uh, prepared prior to my death should be distributed at the conclusion of this will reading. Each package is labeled according to whom should receive it. Article 2. I further direct that an email should be sent to several of my non-local supporters with certain information enclosed within. The contents of this email shall remain private and shall be known only by my lawyer who will prepare and send a communication to correspond with the reading of my will. All of the remainder of my property I hereby bequeath to my sole biological daughter. <laughs> no other person related to me by blood or by marriage unless named on the packages described in Article 1 shall receive any inheritance from my estate. My daughter cannot be found. I leave dispersal of my estate to the sole discretionary power of my executor, named in Article 4. Article 4. I appoint my niece, Meredith Crane, as executor of this, my last will and testament, expressly conferring upon her the power to administer my estate according to my express wishes. I hereby affirm that this is my last will and testament, signed and sealed on the 5th of October, 2009. Well, that's convenient. Mm -hmm. You and Firestone got this all worked out there, don't you, Mary? But there's no doctor. I have called everyone on my list, and they're all stepchildren. I've never heard of a biological daughter. Uh, you wrote this with her. Yes, and I had no luck in locating any such daughter either. Firestone. Yes. How is it no, that I think I'm good here. Thank you. That Evie dies on Monday, October the fifth, and we have a last will and testament signed and sealed on October the fifth. How does that work? Uh, she came and we had it finished that day. I, coincidence? <laughs> yeah, just another coincidence. Lucas. Coincidences. <laughs> Madeline? It looks like you got the small box there, Lucas. Hey, good things come with small packages. They uh, <laughs> have no penny or trent, so I will. Uh, I'll deliver those. You deliver those? Good. Marcus. Mm. Hey, you got the biggest one. Oh, is that right? Is that right. Well, now that makes hurt. sense. <laughs> That makes sense. Calm down, honey. Whatever it is, we'll share it. Don't worry. I'm just uh, <laughs> curious. Get there. What do you got? Oh, that is disgusting. Really? Give you a teddy bear? Ugly bear is what it is. Great. Yeah. Right. She was got Um, I'm sure in Evelyn's old hey, I'm sure it meant something to her. <coughs> Cork. Maybe it's like a voodoo bear, you know, all that more mystical you never saw that thing stuff. Around, you never saw that thing around the house when we were younger? Uh I don't remember it now. I vaguely remember it. Do you? Well, well, she, she had, had it, her uh, papa. What the? She had it in a, well, she had it in a box and not... Not what you wanted? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know about what I wanted, but it's certainly not what I expected. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going to grab it. I don't know, man, why did you leave me in it? Uh, this isn't what's left of her biological daughter, is it? <laughs> <laughs> 
you trying to tell me something here? I got cork. A cork. You got a cork. Ooh. Great, I get a the desiccated remains of a girl doll and you get a cork. So, so, so what'd you get over there, Madeline? That's nothing. Mm. Hmm. A magic bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Well, she wants to do magic. <laughs> <sighs> Yikes. Yeah. 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 Well, that's it. I've got nothing else. Well, I'll also be billing you for the travel for this wasted time, and I wouldn't blame you for doing that either, Max. Uh, what a joke. We're out here. I live local. Yes. Uh, and maybe, yeah. eBay, here I come. You know, dude, Enjoy. You don't know Evelyn. I used to know Evelyn. I certainly don't know her anymore. Good evening.